Okay guys, here's going to be a primary um, test as far as charging a 12 volt. Right now I have the machine running on one armature with one armature fixed. We have a nominal 150 volts AC being produced. I do not have the DC multimeter hooked up yet. I have a capacitor here that we're going to plug in to see after it goes through the uh, full wave bridge rectifier what it's producing from a DC standpoint. Then we're going to disconnect that and then hook up this uh, 12 volt battery and see what it does, okay? So in any event, we're going to hook up the capacitor now. And I apologize if my shooting video is a little blurry. So here we have what's going into the cap is going to be over 200 volts, okay? So that's what's going into the DC side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the DC cap take this out of the equation, take off the multimeter leads off the cap, we're going to put the multimeter leads on the battery just to see what the battery is at right now. The battery is sitting at 12.51 volts and now I'm going to hook up the battery to the Cromry sands the cap, okay? So I have one lead on the positive, one lead on the negative, and now we're going to hook this to the Cromry. And again, we're starting at 12.51 volts. We're drawing 1.9 amps, or just under 2 amps, okay? And now I'm going to plug this in, and we're going to see where the voltage goes, okay? So here we go right now. I'm starting to charge. You hear the Cromery speed up. And she's ticking along. So this definitely confirms John Bedini's uh, findings that he shows on energy from the vacuum volume 10. And it's pushing it along. And now and remember guys what I showed you the current out of this machine to be. Um, it is inexplicable to me that it can push a battery this fast with so little, very, very little current. Now, the other interesting thing that I haven't looked at yet, you see where the AC volts are. It's showing it's really only 7 volts AC, yet it's pushing this battery pretty hard. Um, now what I'm going to do is have you look at the primary amp draw, and we went from 2 amps to 1.37 amps. And again, we're only running one armature. So, she pushes pretty darn well with just one armature going at 2 amps, whether or not each armature at 1 amp draw would be more efficacious in charging a battery faster remains to be seen. Um, in any event, so here you have you know, a visual on the charging efficacy and speed at which the Cromery is able to change a 12 volt battery. We're going to be doing a future test using a virgin battery that I've designated strictly for the Cromery. It's brand new, it has not been charged, only electrolyte been placed in it, as well as another battery that will be tested using another means that I can control the amount of amps going into the charger. So we can do a one-to-one -one test based upon the efficacy of the Cromery charging versus the efficacy of another um, DC power supply where I can limit it to 2 amps. So 2 amps being digested by this motor or a combination of that motor and the other motor on the other side versus um, a DC power supply. So in any event, <clears throat> it hasn't been running for but a couple, two or three minutes and we went from you know 12.5 volts to 12.92 volts. And again, the amount of AC current uh, or the AC voltage, I should say, uh, showing is very, very nominal. And again, the, the current out of the machine is uh, relatively small, yet it's able to do this. So, in any event, here you have it. Here is the first visual test of charging using only one armature of the Cromery, and it will be followed up by a multiplicity of other tests uh, with virgin batteries, etc. So I thought you might find this interesting. And if at the very, very minimum, I'm uh, extraordinarily optimistic in its efficacy as well as its efficiency. 
So here we have something that we could potentially utilize drawing a very, very nominal amount of voltage and current from a primary supply that seemingly is a pretty efficient, efficient at a pushing 12 volts. So thanks again for watching.